Hey guys, it's Monday. We're in the vape lounge and we've got the Inikin I Taste VTR in for a review. All right, Inikin I Taste VTR. We're going to do a quick unboxing here just to show you what you're going to get. I'm going to go in and open up the box here. And you're going to see right off the bat, you're going to get a really nice case with your new VTR. Great for storing it when you're not using it. And there it is. Shiny and beautiful. The iTaste VTR. You're going to get a couple of things when you first open this. You're going to get your device itself. It's going to come pre-installed with a iClear 30S, their new Clearmizer, and you're also going to get the extension tube. We'll go into that a little bit later. So let's close it up and go back up top and we'll take a look at how it works. Okay, so here it is, the iTaste VTR. As I said before, it's going to come installed with your iClear 30S. It's their new clear miser. It works pretty nice. We'll go into that in a second. But the first thing we're going to need to do is install a battery because it doesn't have one. So we'll go ahead and put an AWIMR18650 positive end first into the device, close it up, and turn it on. To turn it on, we're going to triple click the fire button. So one, two, three, you get a light show and it tells you that it's on on the screen. We're going to check our ohms, should be right at 2.7 and we're going to set it to 8.5 watts and have a vape. I had to take two actually because this new clear visor, the iClear 30S is actually pretty impressive. It started off with kind of a weird taste at first, 10 or 15 minutes, that went away. It now tastes great, it performs great too. So let's take a look at the menu system here. We're gonna give it one click, it's gonna tell us our ohms. And then once the ohms drops off, it's gonna tell us what wattage we're at. If you don't wanna vape in wattage, you can actually click once, it's gonna give you ohms, wait until it switches over, click again, it's gonna give you variable voltage mode anywhere from three volts in 0.1 volt increments up to six. It's actually pretty nice. So voltage or watts, whichever one you wanna vape, this will do it. Let's break it down and start looking at the individual components. Okay, so here it is again. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here because we'll be talking about it in a second. This is your extension tube. This does come in your kit. What we're going to do is we're going to go on ahead and take out the iClear 30S. So we're just going to take that. We're going to grip this little ring down here. This ring makes it really easy for removing and installing your uh, atomizer, clearmizer, cartomizer, whatever you're going to be using in this device. So we'll go on ahead and pull this guy out and take a look a little bit closer at the VTR and what features it has to offer you. So again, here's that little ring. This ring free spins to allow you to quickly thread on devices. Um, it, it, it is a nice touch because you've got the whole box part of it here, your frame that's not gonna let you get a good grip on your cartomizer or something like that. So this little ring does make it really nice. Again, you have the, the function check button and your scroll wheel for adjusting through your menu. On the bottom, you've got a really well-made full metal battle, battery door. Um, it, it's nice, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break off, it's not really wiggly or anything like that, and the latch itself is very solid and, and feels nice when, when you click it. So I'm gonna actually throw a battery back in here. And the battery does not jiggle around in there at all, um, which is really nice. All of the buttons and selector wheels are very tactile and clicky. Uh, they, you know, they, they're not mushy that you know when you push them and they, they feel good when you push them. So that's the Inokin iTaste VTR. 
um, without the extension tube. What I'm going to do, say you had something that you wanted to use that doesn't necessarily fit through the top of the device like this does. It's got this little channel, but the iClear S, which is what the VTR was designed for, um, fits right in there. Well, some devices, like say this RSST, don't fit. They just don't fit in there. So what you got to do is install the extension tube, which again comes with your kit. Just twist it on in there. Use your little locking ring to help stabilize and, and spin it and get it nice and tight. And then you can go on ahead and install your non-standard size device on there. And boom, there you go. Nice, easy, wonderful. It looks great. It's solid, solid piece of equipment. Uh, it does pick up fingerprints. That's the nature of the beast. It's nice and shiny. It will pick up a bunch of fingerprints. Let's go back up top, have one more vape, and finish up. All in all, this is a really nice mod. It's solid. You don't have to worry about, you know, if you were to drop it, yeah, it might get scratched, but it's it's basically solid metal. You're not going to have to worry about it breaking. Um, the iClear 30S that comes with it, great, great little clear miser. Uh, variable wattage, variable voltage, resistance check, really nice clicky buttons. And my favorite part, the fact that you can just throw this battery out when it gets dead, throw it on the charger, boom, throw another one in, turn it back on, you're good to go. This is a great little mod.